Welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Basics. Today we are going to see the organic chemistry practical hydroquinone to quinone. So let's directly go to the preparation. So what is the aim of experiment or preparation? Is the preparation of quinone from hydroquinone. The principle behind this is nothing but the oxidation reaction. So hydroquinone or its other name is para hydroxyphenol can be readily oxidized to quinone by using oxidizing agents like potassium dichromate and concentrated H2SO4 which are the chemicals required for this preparation hydroquinone, K2Cr2O7, concentrated H2SO4 and ethyl alcohol which is used for recrystallization. Now let's see the reaction. So here this hydroquinone will undergo oxidation. Oxidation means loss of hydrogen. So these two hydrogens and nascent oxygen from this reagent that will eliminate as a water molecule and this hydroquinone is converted into a quinone or it is also known as a parabenzoquinone. Now let's see the experimental procedure. So first you have to take 1 gram of hydroquinone and add 10 ml of this water in a beaker heat that solution on a wire gauze to obtain a clear solution then keep this solution on a table after cooling there should be no solid in that solution remember that that's a very important you have to take care of that now take 2 gram of potassium dichromate in a conical flask and dissolve in a 20 ml of this water and add 2 ml of concentrated HTSO4 then check this flask well and cool in ice water. Now to this ice cold solution, you have to add hydroquinone solution drop wise with constant shaking in the course of 30 minutes. So minimum half hour you have to add this hydroquinone solution drop wise. Care should be taken that temperature should not rise above 20 degrees Celsius. So the shaking is continued for 10 minutes after the addition is over you will get the yellowish crystal of quinone. Then that solution or crystals you have to filter at the suction pump and dry it well to record the practical yield and calculate the theoretical as well as practical percentage yield. Finally. To find out the melting point, you have to recrystallize the product by using alcohol. So, you will get the needle type structure uh, of that precipitate, that crystals you have to dry and then take the melting point of that crystalline compound. So, this is the experimental procedure. Now, let's see the experimental setup or what are the steps involved in this experiment. So initially you have to take a beaker and in that beaker you have to add hydroquinone and 10 ml of water. So 1 gram of hydroquinone you have to take and 10 ml of distilled water you have to add. Then you have to warm that solution so as that solution becomes a clear. And again I will repeat that temperature of that particular solution should not be decreased so crystals will reappear again. So you have to take care of that. Now let's take a big uh, conical flask and in that conical flask now you have to add a potassium dichromate and 2 ml of concentrated H2SO4 and this solution now you have to just cool in ice and you will get this ice cold solution. Now this ice cold solution and hydroquinone this two previous to hydroquinone solution and ice cold solution you have to take that solutions and now Hydroquinone solution is added drop wise in ice cold solution. How much the duration required for that? 30 minutes. So 30 minutes you have to add that drop wise addition. Then after that this yellow crystals will separate out in the conical flask and that you have to just filter on suction pump and try. So this is the quinone crystals here we have shown. So this is the uh, experimental steps involved. Now let's see the calculations. 
So theoretical yield can be calculated as follows. So we have taken a hydroquinone and converting into a quinone. So its molecular formulas are C6H6O2 and quinone has C6H4O2. So from that you can easily find out molecular weight. So it's a 110 gram and it is of quinone it's a 108 gram. So 1 gram of hydroquinone gives you 0 0.982 gram of quinone. So you have to type the practical yield of quinone that's the a gram. So whatever weight you are getting so that you have to write here. Then practical percentage yield is calculated by this formula so if 0 0.982 gram of product is equal to 100 percent yield then whatever a gram you are getting here that is equal to a into 100 divided by 0 0.982 gram okay so whatever answer you will get that is the percentage practical yield of hydroquinone sorry quinone so in this way you can do the calculations and finally, we have to tabulate the result as follows. So, melting point of quinone, so it's a 116 degrees Celsius. Then you have to write the practical yield of quinone as a gram. And then finally, practical percentage yield that is calculated according to the calculations. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, Chemistry Basics and press the bell icon button so you will get the notification of the next video and if you like this video please share and comment in the comment box thank you very much